so that when it's time to get paid, cha-ching, you got money in the bank, money in the bank, money in the bank, money in the bank. <laughs> I don't know. I still kept mine. Like, this is a... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video and today's video consists of how much I got paid in my first YouTube check. Yes, so basically we're going to break down the tips on how to get paid. So here in the book, I got my notes written down. First off off the back. You will want to start your YouTube channel. Trust me, you will want to. During this quarantine time, it is the perfect opportunity and chance to go ahead and put up a video. Like, yes. Also, I prefer you to get a book, a pen, whatever. I went and bought me some a new book and some more pens. So that way, when this one finished. I got back up to keep on rolling and rocking, you know, put down my ideas and see where I go from there. So, if you thought about starting a YouTube channel but you kept procrastinating and wasting time, this right here is the perfect opportunity to do so, okay? Next, um, I would suggest find something you love to do, whether it be cooking, cleaning, Hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, DIYs. Uh, if you got like sewing, you want to make pillows, do clothes, anything your heart desires, do it. Make a video on it because trust me, there's people out there that would like to learn new things like me. Of course, I like an array of everything, so I'll be dibble and dabble to everything. So do it. Next, um, I would say once you create your YouTube channel. Go ahead and set up your AdSense account because that will help you in the long run opposed to you um, waiting until, you know, if you get your hours or whatever, you um, won't have to wait that long. It'll be an easy process for you. Next, I would say once you get comfortable of being on camera and you're putting up a lot of videos, share your videos out on all platforms like Twitter. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Patreon, the list may go on. If you got any of those accounts, trust me, share them because there's people that will watch you, that you following already on your other accounts, and they were like, hmm, she does YouTube, he does YouTube. Oh, let me go check out this video. It looks interesting. That's awesome. Grow your audience that way as well. That was my next one, so that was, you know, that came a wrap it. So next, I will also suggest um have a support system. Now, that's kind of rare, but if you have people that's willing to support you, they go your support system right there. Um, And then as you grow along the way on YouTube, you will gain a, another family that will help support you to watch your videos. And y'all will grow as well like that. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, the requirements for YouTube now, since they didn't switch it up, is you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch, watch hours, not watch minutes, watch hours, in order to get monetized. Trust me, the process is long, but the end result is so rewarding. So, roughly, I would say it all depends on what your niche is or what you base your ch channel on about that make well make you you know grow faster than others because some people grow at a different different pace than others so you can't fault nobody for like if you're staggering stagnant at a certain plateau and you wish that you can go higher just keep being consistent enjoy doing what you love to do 
and eventually it's going to pay off okay um other than that um trust me it's not easy but with hard work and dedication you will get there in the long run so me roughly it took me about i would say six months Six months to get monetized, but to get my 1,000 hours, I believe I got that in, well, 1,000 subscribers, my bad. I got that in, like, I believe three months, so I was working every single day, putting out content, like, four or five videos a day, and, you know, it helped me the long run, because <laughs> I got my 1,000 subscribers, <laughs> and I'm growing daily, as, as every day, as you speak. Next, I would say, um, um, yeah, if you be consistent, your views will grow each and every day. Um, if you can't do everyday posting, try to put yourself on the schedule. So, say you post like two or three times a week, which is pretty good. Fairly, they say the norm is posting two times a week. But hey, if you got time like that, use it, especially during this quarantine time, use that time wisely to put out content. And also, another great thing is thumbnails. If you need help working on thumbnails, Google, right on YouTube, right on the internet, find out how you could create a popping thumbnail. There's plenty of apps out there that will help you, like Fonto, Typorama, you got um, PowerDirect, Climaster. There's so many apps out there that will, that will help you on your way to where you want to go to. And also, you don't have to have a fancy camera to get your videos out there. Right now, as we speak, I'm using my phone to record. And if you have great lighting, like best time is, is like in the daytime, use your sunlight. That's like the best light possible. But like I said, during this quarantine time, you can't go outside like that as much. So... Use a lighting to your advantage. Right now, I have my light on as long as well as a ring light here. Even though I got one in the back, I got one right here. So, we making it do what it do. We're trying to get this content out there, so we're going to keep it rocking and rolling. So, that's the tips on, you know, getting you started. Now, my first YouTube check. Okay, so I got monetized. Okay. I got monetized in January. So January 25th, exactly. I recently, I applied ahead of time, but I was denied due to some video errors. So I went back and fixed it. It's basically like I deleted all the videos off, deleted all the videos off, and I basically started from scratch. So within two months from November 25th, I was denied, and then I started from that there to January 25th. I basically started over. I was down to 300 watch hours. 300, well, 394 watch hours. That's basically started from scratch. And I gained mine up, I think, up into, I think, 100,000 views. So that's basically a little bit over 4,000 watch hours, which is pretty good. I, I'm proud, I'm proud, I'm proud. So, yeah, you can do it. Trust me. I did it once. I did it twice. I'm still doing it. You got to keep growing. You can't have that mentality like, oh, I'm going to get here and I'm going to be comfortable. No, you got to keep on grinding, keep going steady, keep the consistency going because it's going to show in the long run. So, after I got monetized the second time, which was in January. Alright, so when I insert my pictures of how much money I actually got paid, that's the breakdown of from then to now. So, it's going to show everything. So, in January, I didn't meet the $100 threshold. I made $19.16. But in February, I did meet the um, $100 threshold. I got, I think, $117. So... The money I accrued from January went into, it rolled over into February. And then I met the $100 threshold. So I made close to, I think I made, a, I think it was $137.30 I made in total from both January and February. 
and you get paid the 21st of every month but not roughly the 21st is like the 23rd of every month so it's just 21st is just the start the starting but it's within that week pay period week that you are expected to get a check so i got my first check on march 23rd because you get paid for the month ahead so my february check and the rest of january was included in my march payment for of the money so after that i was surprised because excuse me as much work as i put into i was surprised that i was able even able to meet the 100 dollars threshold a hundred dollars may not seem like a lot on paper but when you working hard on them videos with them ads it does it's a lot because your ads roughly range from 10 cents to 30 cents so you gotta hope for the best and also your videos each have a different cpm i will insert pictures here so y'all can see the different cpm each video range is different so if you get um over a thousand views you will get that amount of money per cp um you will get that cpm amount of money that they offered for that video and the higher your cpm the more money you're expected to see so right now we are working on getting up there with our views and stuff so that way you know our checks start looking a little healthy like <laughs> okay it's hard work it's hard work it's hard work it's hard work and I cannot stress this enough like keep going keep growing you're going to get there trust me I was in the same boat y'all was in just a year ago thinking like hmm I can't wait till I can monetize then like you got to set goals for yourself you got to set time you got to prioritize what you really want to do like you can't just not be like play around because trust me I was playing around at first and then after a while I got serious and I'm I'm comfortable with being on camera, putting out videos, doing an array of everything that I just love to do. Um, I don't know. That's pretty but well, basic. So, me personally, this is basic of my experience. But, you know, I'm willing to help each and everyone out there. Whether your channel is mukbang, whether it's cooking, whether it's makeup, all this other stuff. I am willing to help this all these tips apply in the same fashion so you got to be willing to be consistent and take it seriously if you really want to be a, a um big youtuber because i'm working on being a big youtuber i'm working on getting stuff done branching out branching on my brand doing other things to venture out and become more successful like i wish i would have took this more seriously a couple of years ago instead of waiting till like now to do it but hey it's not, it's not, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And I'm going to keep on finishing and keep on working towards my goals because everybody has goals. You just got to know when to apply yourself to do what you got to do. So basically, my first YouTube check was pretty good. I'm surprisingly, I was happy. I was like, what? Okay. Okay. Yes. And also, beware that they, Google also takes out 24%, um, but that's also towards your taxes. So, you will be eventually filing taxes for the next year, the upcoming, next upcoming year. Because if you make a total of $600 for the year, you are required by law to pay taxes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, this is a paying job. And you will have to pay taxes. So, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Also, I forgot to add in. And once you set up your Google account and you got your watch time hours, um, Google will send you da -da -da -da, a Google AdSense account pin. This is a personalized pin for your account only 
to verify what you put into your AdSense account that everything is correct. Once you have this paper and you enter in your code, you are good to go and you can start setting up your direct deposit payments so that when it's time to get paid, to change you got money in the bank, money in the bank, money in the bank, money in the bank. <laughs> I don't know. I still kept mine. Like this is a this is a memento of all the hard work that I put in to get this far. So I'm gonna forever be grateful and hold on to this little piece of history in the making for me because I came come a long way. And I am forever grateful and proud of my success so far. I ain't successful yet, but I'm successful enough to know that I got this. I keep striving for greatness. I'm going to be at the top. So, yeah, I just wanted to add this in there. I don't know where I'm going to put it in at, but, hey, Google Adsense. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was kind of helpful to some and to all. Thank you guys for watching. If y'all like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, comment down below if y'all have any more questions and any concerns. I will be happy to help you. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.